All right, guys. Episode two, playing the uh, little ZVS induction heater. These are like seven dollars twenty on Banggood.com at the moment. I uh, will leave a link in the video description of this one and the last one for you to uh, go and grab one. They are super cheap and a good thing to uh, have a play with. Today we've got it set up in a wind tunnel, so get a bit of fan going on. It's a server fan. Is a bit of an expensive and noisy option, but that's okay. All right, I've got two options here. We've tried plain steer, which we did with the screwdriver yesterday. I want to try that's a power cable out of an ATX power supply. I want to see if it melts the insulation off as we feed it through. We've got a thicker piece of copper wire here, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Watch our current on this power supply here. As we feed it in. No rise on the cop on the insulated copper cable. rise on the copper bar but not a big one not much of one at all it's definitely on why does the copper do nothing Does it have to be a steel object for the induction heating to take place? Wouldn't have thought so. I've got copper based pans that run on the induction cooktop. Very minimal current. Tiny bit of heat there. Coil's not hot today, which is nice. That uh, high end airflow going through there is obviously doing its thing. Do a little paper clip again. So evidently, ferrous metals really get going. So that's glowing. Someone asked salt about solder, whether it would be a good way to solder something. Let's see what solder does. Same thing again, minimal increase. We'll hold it in there for a sec, see if it does anything. Not really. Not much going on there. That's a bit of a surprise. I thought that that would uh, be a thing. How about if we get the end of the soldering iron. Could be a way to make it really powerful. There's a little bit of solder stuck to the end there. Definitely got hot. 
Yeah, it heated it up. That's a bit of a bust. I was actually hoping that, yeah, you could like feed an insulated copper cable through the body of it. Makes sense though, it's not magnetic. So evidently you need the magnetism to make the eddy currents. The eddy currents are what makes it hot. So yeah, I obviously didn't think anywhere near hard enough about the whole principle of magnetism. So we stick, we stick the stick the big side stick the big side of the paper clip in there. Ooh, seven amps. Not only is it glowing, it's actually floating. I reckon I could almost... Ooh. It almost rotates in there by itself. It's amazing how quickly that gets hot. All the unit needed was some airflow. I think the heat from the coil was just travelling back and cooking the unit, so it melted that connection there. Anyway, they're like seven dollars. Go and buy one, have some fun with it. Um, I, I'm purchasing a big one, so uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to make something awesome out of it. If we get enough views, we might even uh, fire it up with one of these inside it and see what happens. It'll fit straight in the coil. Who wants to see that? Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.